Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Division 101 and today's tutorial is how to create a simple comic using our comic life. This is part 2 of our previous tutorial, the introduction of our comic life. So let's get started. you remember from our previous video, the intro introduction for Comic Life, we introduced to you what is Comic Life and what are the menu, what are the features within the Comic Life. Remember that the Comic Life, you can create a stunning comic using your pictures or your artworks or the picture that you download from the internet. So. This is our goal for this time to create this uh, comic. So we have different part of the part of the comic. The first one is the title. We have also the picture, okay, in the panel, and we have also the uh, the caption on this picture. And this one here is a definition on what is the animal's habitat. So you can copy and paste research this one in the internet so in this uh, tutorial we are going to learn how to choose an appropriate template for our comic how to add caption on our comic using the dialog box okay the dialog box is here down here this is the caption so how can we use that one and all, this is also the panel the template and how to change the color the text here this is the text how can we change this one and how to add pictures so on this side this is your pictures or your of or your artwork okay and how to save file after you finish your comic okay so let's get started now i will be opening a new file for you to see what it's look like so this is our our file usually when you open your uh, comic life okay from the scratch you have different templates that you can use okay so this is actually the blank document now i will close this one and i will show you what is the the real template or the template available in our comic life so i save here comic life 2 maybe your version is comic life 3 it's the same it's almost the same but there are additional features so double click comic life you can see okay i am using the trial version so uh, not yet not registered so if you can see you have your template now because i am using the four classification of the animal habitat so i will be uh, choosing this template we have the four one two three four okay but you can also uh, use different template as you wish or you can add a template now this one is a free design template already we have already our template now the first one we are going to write here the title so you just click and then after that after you click you double click and then you will write animals animals habitat that will be our title with a letter each habitat so when you click that one, everything is there. Now if you want to change the font, all you need to do is to highlight and you can have your font available here by clicking this A. So you can change the font. You can change the size also of your uh, uh, text. Okay. So for me, I am okay for this template. So no need. No need, no need for me to change the, the font. Okay, but if you want, here also you can change the font. You can see there are a lot of fonts available. We have also the size, if you want bold, italic, or underline, you can. Or the alignment of your text, as what I have mentioned a while ago in our previous tutorial. So I have now my uh, title, Animals Habitat, meaning where our, the animals live. So it's categorized in our previous activity in four different areas 
uh, habitat of the animals. The first one is terrestrial animals that live on land. Another one is aquatic animals. Animals live on water. can be fresh water or salt water. Next is the aerial animals, the animals that live on air or flying animals. And the uh, last one is the um, amphibious animals that live on both lands and water. So if you can remember, uh, you already saved your pictures, the last activity we have in your computer. So here, in our, in our pictures, you have uh, photos that is the pictures that you save in your computer okay maybe using your camera explorer and we have also the camera so if you are using your camera you can have your picture here or explorer this is where your folder in your computer can be seen so if you can see I have here classification of animals so I have my folder you know this is the folder that we used before. So aerial animals, amphibious animals, aquatic animals, terrestrial animals. So if you are using the same computer, all of this is saved under the explorer and then click the folder and you can see classification of animals. Okay? If you cannot see that one, maybe you save in the desktop, you just click in the desktop and go to classification of animals. After that, we will start with terrestrial animals. Click double click and then you can choose one picture for the animals for example this one and you drag click and hold your mouse put it here okay so I have now my first picture terrestrial animals so next go back classification of animals now let's go to aquatic I have one picture of aquatic animals that is shark drag in the shark and I have now the shark and move okay so that it will fit on your template like that and then Go back, click again, classification of animals, do the same. Aerial animals, I have eagle, one picture, put it here, and you can drag your picture that will fit on your layout. Okay, that's it. And the last one is the amphibious animals. Amphibious animals, double click, frog, I have frog here, and then just put it there. Picture of a frog. So you can see. I have now my, my picture based on the what I have saved in my computer. Now, the next part is the caption. Caption is the same as this. Okay? This is the caption. From here, this is the caption also. So if you want to write the caption, all you need to do is to drag and you write your words. For example, frog. And you have your caption, caption of your frog like that and just arrange it right here okay so you can you can align left or align right or you can align in the center you can see it's moving okay so in this case because i have my uh pre-designed uh caption all i need to do is to double click this one and i will write the race free animal This three trial animals. Okay, so I have now. If you can see, I label this one as terrestrial animals. If you want, you can you can add your caption. Just lion. You can do it. After that, all you need to do is to click this one, then right click, copy, and then right click, paste. And you have another one here. Okay. What you need to do is to just edit. So I have here, this one is aquatic animals. So backspace, aquatic animals. And that is, what is that? That is, yes, that is shark. Okay. So after that, you can, you can fit your alignment. Here, so I have aquatic animals, shark. Then, next, again, right click, copy, or you can do control C, control V, put it here. Another one, control C, control V, put it here. And after that, just edit the text. This is 
backspace. This is um views animals. And the name of that animal is frog. Okay, that's right. And then here we have the aerial. Aerial animals, animals that live in air or flying animals. And this is eagle. So if you can see, I have now almost complete comic. Okay, so I have now amphibious animals and I have aquatic animals and terrestrial animals with the names. After that, if you want to make this one as a center, just do the alignment here. Alignment is here. So center. If you don't want, if you have, if you want like this, just stay on the left alignment. Now the last part here, the last part here, we are going to add, we are going to add the meaning of what is animal habitat. So all you need to do is to add caption, just drag the caption here, and we will write what is animal habitat. Now. You can just go to your internet, browse your internet, and write what is is animal habitat. So animal habitat. What is an animal habitat? Just drag it down and copy. Okay. A, han a habitat is a place that the animals lives. So right click, copy, or Control C and then go back to your comic life and then here right click or control V or paste. You can see a, hum a habitat is a place that the animals live. All you need to do now is to align this one to fit in in the box. So align using the cursor, put that one in the box. Okay. Now, if you want that you have the white background, just stay like that. Or if you want to remove your background, you can still do it. Okay, like this. You can see, you can change your background with a style. So, we complete our first creation of our simple comic in our animal habitat. So, you can see that from our previous lesson, we connected this one to our comic life, and we are using the picture that you download in our comic. So this is animal habitat, classified into four different areas, the animals that live in land, in water, in air, or in both lands and water. And also we have the definition of what is animal habitat. So we complete our, all together. Now the last part is, to save your file so there are uh, different parts of saving the file if you want that only this picture will be saved this is what we are going to do file then export and then go to export image and then click OK and that's the time you are going to write the file in animal habitat and then when you click save, click where's the location that you're going to save. For me, I will save that one in the desktop so that we can see it easy. Save and wait for that one. And then we will minimize this one. Minimize. And then we can see that the picture is already saved in your computer. Okay. So the picture is saved in your computer, in your desktop. So when you open that one, your picture is this one. And you can print this one as a whole page for a poster or a comic. Okay? So that's it. So if you want also to save your your uh, comic life, all you need to do is to click Save or Save As. So all this one will be saved. The comic life will be saved in your uh, comic life document. Okay? So remember, uh, in our activity today, when you save your file, file, uh, export images, remember your file name will be 
your name, for example, David, free, A, and then add comment. So this will be our file name in saving the file. Just save in your desktop, click save, and your your document will be saved in your computer. So that's all for today. Hope you learned something in how to create comics and we will add or we will learn more comics and we will create more comics soon. Thank you very much for watching. This is David June 101. Have a nice day and God bless.